Welcome back to another episode of Mercury Playground, where today we'll be making hexamethylene tetraamine, otherwise known as hexamine. Now this compound finds a variety of uses, such as in fuel tablets, explosives, such as RDX and HMX, or in uh, formulation reactions of airings. But today, we're going to see if we can boil water with it and cook with it. So, let's get started. The only materials you'll need are formaldehyde and ammonia. The first thing we'll need is 280 milliliters of ammonia. We're going to keep it like this, and then for this one, we're going to just fill it up to the 200 milliliter mark. This equates to roughly four moles of ammonia. So we're going to add our ammonia in this big bowl, and then we're going to add 450 milliliters of formaldehyde. This is roughly six moles of formaldehyde. Now, because this is a condensation reaction, it's going to get a little hot. It won't be like a steaming, boiling sort of hot, but the reaction will get very warm. Like that. Now the reaction is already pretty warm, so all we're going to do is apply gentle heat afterwards. We want it to be able to slowly evaporate this to minimize sublimation. So I'm going to have it around half and just heat it there for a while until I just get the powder left. After a few hours, you can see our liquid has become a fully fledged powder. There's a little bit of that orange yellow stuff. That's I suspect it's, it burnt a little bit, but for the most part, we got a lot of powder. The total yield was 98 grams, so that's a little bit around 42% yield. I suspect it's because of excess evaporation, but there should still be enough for the next part of our experiment. We're now going to fire test it. So we're first going to load this can with some hexamine. Not all of it, just, just a little bit, probably half of it. It's well distributed and then we're going to put our little cover over it and then we're going to start putting our extra stuff that we're going to cook with so to test how hot this is going to get we're going to have some things first of all a sausage i'm going to wrap this guy like a tin foil dumpling right and we're going to see how well that cooks on the side I'm also gonna have a boiling flask with some water in it to see if it boils. That should be about a good amount. I'm also gonna have a bundle of sticks in here to see if it can burn uh, sticks. And lastly, I'm gonna have a titanium cube. And we're gonna see how well that burns too. Let's fit him right here. Now we're gonna light this guy up. See, we got a little fire going. Maintains pretty well. It's gonna spread, so I'm gonna put this thing on it and we're gonna see how well it spreads. Pretty soon you can see how uh, there might be some condensation at the bottom of the boiling flask. See the fire? It's, it's growing a little bit. It's, it's getting bigger, it's definitely getting bigger. Um, maybe we should have added more hexamine in there, but We'll see how this goes. You might be able to hear some sizzle going on. That's because the fire is really starting to ramp up. It might be because of the sausage. Let me see how hot this tinfoil it got. Quite a bit warm. It's definitely hot. Yeah, the glass is pretty hot to the touch. You might be able to see some vapor in the boiling flask too. Let's see if you see some bubbling. I, I thought I saw a bubble. Yeah, there's a little bubble in there. So it's starting to get a little boiling. More bubbles are building up on the bottom of the boiling flask. The vapors are increasing. The uh, condensation zone is starting to move up a little bit. It was from this thing and now it's on the neck. The, the sticks, I hear the sticks kindling a little bit. I think that's what the crackling sound. You might be able to see a little bit of the flames on the bottom. I can see some of the smoke coming off. 
Oh yeah, it's starting to really go. The fire is definitely up at the sticks. So we know this thing burns wood, and it can burn wood good. You see more of the fire starting to peer out of it a bit. And you see at the boiling flask how there's more uh, little bubbles. Nothing big yet, but it's starting to increase fast. We're now uh, three minutes in. You can see how vigorous the boiling is getting. So this thing can boil water. It's proven now. Uh, the titanium cube, pretty resilient to that. Nothing's happening there. Um, if this is boiling water, look how vigorous that is. I might have to take it off soon. Then the sausage must be cooking too, but only time will tell. Look how vigorous that is. That's all from the hexamine. The stick is, is, is done burning. It's all, uh, it's all like this black charcoal now. It's just the hexamine doing it, and it's pretty vigorous. It's very strong. We're almost five minutes in. Let's take a little peek on what's going on down here. As you can see, we got quite a nice fire. I can feel the heat through my glove. The, the rim of the, of the flask is, is very hot. So we know it boils water. That's confirmed. So we're going to take this guy off for a little bit. And we're going to put the sausage on full time and see if we can cook that guy, if it has been cooked already. And hopefully it's not an ashen hockey puck. Let's see how our, how our sausage is. Oh, the fire is out too. We burnt pretty much most of it. Um, hopefully this guy didn't burn. Looks pretty burnt so far. We got a little grease pool. It's, it's, a, <laughs> it's a little on the raw side. I wouldn't eat it, but you saw it before. It was pretty pink, and now it's, it's kind of browned. So that's very incredible how it's able to cook that sausage. Let's see if we can cook it a little bit more from the residual heat, but I doubt it. The titanium cube so far. A little bit of some black ink on it. I think it's from the wood or the fire, but that should be easy to clean off. Wow, that, that cube's pretty hot. It can, it can definitely retain heat, so that's for sure. Put a little bit more water on it. If you observe the aftermath, you can clearly see how our sticks are nothing more than brittle pieces of carbon. Pretty much just ash at that point. And our hexamine has been all but used up. Now, hexamine is very soluble in water, but is burnt hexamine the same? It is. After you use your hexamine, it can be very easily cleaned out. It definitely doesn't leave any sort of burnt, hard residue like if you're burning charcoal does. Look at that. Look how much is broken up already. The only thing that's left is a little burnt, pure carbon pieces, really. But for the most part, it's all but been cleaned out. So you can use this thing again and again, and it'll barely leave any stains other than the wood. So we proved we made hexamine and we proved that it is actually a great source of fuel for boiling water or cooking food. A camper should not be without this whatsoever. I certainly wouldn't. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more great content from Muckler Playground. See you in the next video.